Are you already annoyed by all of the codes you need to receive over your phone that you can log in somewhere? What if the phone is in the other room, left in the car or even lost, then you can't log in at all? Well, it's not actually true, because Safari has a built-in authenticator which you can set to fill these codes for you, and it's so simple, and I will show you how to do it now. So with Safari version 15, in both systems, Big Sur and Monterey, you can now have the authentication codes automatically filled in. So let's start by going to Safari Preferences and then to Password tab. Here you will see all the passwords you have saved, so when you log in into these sites, you can automatically have the ID and the password be filled up with Safari. It's so convenient that you don't need to type your password every time, especially if you have a long one. But no matter how complicated is your password, most sites today also require two-factor authentication. So in addition to the password, you have to enter a one-time code, which usually come over text message. But now let's give Safari the permission to receive these codes, so we can easily skip this annoying phone code receiving. As an example, I am going to use a Facebook account. I will select it here and now press edit to take a look at it. So here, I can see the username, the password and also the website at the bottom. And in this place, you can also add the verification code. Of course, verification codes only exist for a temporary period of time, usually about 30 seconds. So what this option will actually do is to allow Safari to hook into the system which generates these codes. So let's do it. Click on enter setup key and it is asking for what? For the setup key obviously. But how do I find it? You actually need to go in your personal settings on the website which you are setting this for. So in this case, Facebook page. So open up Facebook and log in into your account. Then on the right side, click this arrow and settings and privacy. And open your Facebook settings. Here on the left, switch to security and logging tab. And you will find two-factor authentication in the list. When you press edit, it will ask you once more for your login. And after it, it will redirect you in this page. And here, you can set how to receive your codes. Press on manage and add a new app. And finally, we are getting the code. It's not so easy to find it, but it's definitely worth it. It will save you a lot of time in the long run. And now, what is left is to copy the code and paste it into the Safari settings and it's all set. Now when you want to sign in again, you can use your Touch ID or Face ID to not only fill up your account password, but also the verification code. And what is best on it, is that it syncs over iCloud. So on my other Apple devices, I can get the verification code as well, and I can easily log in on iPhone or iPad as well. When you set up a new account, the process is pretty much the same. For example, if you want to set it to Google account, you again need to go to the settings there. Let me show you. So open Google, manage Google account, switch to security tab, and two-factor authentication is here. Scroll all the way down to set up authentication app, and it gives you this QR code. You can scan this code using the Google Authenticator app, but if you click on can't scan it, then you will get this key, same as before, so it works pretty much the same as Facebook. Of course, in the worst case scenario, you can usually completely disable these two-factor codes. But why to remove this extra layer of security, if it's so easy to set it to be automatic? Well, give it a try. If you find this useful, also give it a thumbs up to let me know that you enjoy these short tutorials, so I can make more of it. Anyway, here is Luke, and I hope to see you in the next video.